So very good afternoon to one and all. So today we are going to discuss about the calculations of balance of photovoltaic system. This sheet comprising of a ready-made design of solar PV system. In that case, user has to enter the load pattern. The load pattern comprising of type of the load its voltage capacity, number of units of such load used in the home, and their operating hours. So before pursuing this sheet, I will try to explain how to use this sheet. So for in that case, you need to enter the required data in terms of load pattern. As the PV is generating a DC power. In that case, we need to convert that DC power into AC because our loads are AC in nature. So, for that case, we require the inverter and the converter assembly that is DC to AC converters and DC to DC converters. So, in that case, we need to assume the efficiency of the charge controllers as well as inverter and the battery itself. So in that case the efficiency range is also mentioned in the excel sheet. It is there over here. Similarly we need to assume within the range. However you can assume any percentage efficiency. But as those elements are static in nature, the efficiency is handsomely good. Then you have to enter the sunshine hours. Usually it is 4 to 5, maximum 6 hours where we can have a enough penetration of power from the PV. And before proceeding further, one has to read the assumption rules before taking the assumption and at last your plant is ready. So if we can talk about the problem statement, we are having a design of solar PV system for a house which contains some following appliances. This following appliances are user defined. So what I took is a fan, 50 watt each capacity, the three units means three fans are there. My total power is 15 to 3 is 150. I am assuming that fans are operating for 4 hours and the energy is 600 watt hour. Likewise, we will go for the tube light and the refrigerator. So, at the end of the step 1, that is AC load chart entered by the user, the outcome is the total watt. You can say watt consumed per specific time, that is your watt hour that is 2820 watt hour similarly for step 2 we need to go for the electronic component selection in that the excel is designed such that this 490 watt has been directly coming over here similarly that to applied on the energy calculation now in that electronic component selection step 2 our first sub component is the inverter capacity selection usually inverters are rated in VA or KVA or MV capacity over here as we are designing a small power plant our capacity of the inverter in VA or hardly 1 or 1.5 KVA so in that case if we are assuming the efficiency that is 96% accordingly my VA output will change. Suppose if I can change the efficiency from 96 to 95 accordingly my VA output has been changed. I am trying to tell the same calculation of 96%. So in that case 510 VA is my answer. Similarly we can do it for the energy calculation that was also found in the step 1. So, for the learning outcome of step 2, sub point A, 
we have a total input VA of the inverter is 510 VA and the whatever is 2398 this is this is our AC power 490 is our AC power our next section is the solar charge controller so in the solar charge controller section we are having a watt hour that has been new watt hour computed over here and new wattage is there with us that is 490 that's what the actual one for this we required a DC current so in DC current we need to assume a suitable amount of the DC voltage that is voltage of the charge controller and same voltage that we can take over here for the battery selection now this 2398 and is what our and 490 is what and the voltage is 24 so if we need to find the current that is 490 upon 24 is the 20 ampere approximately I can take a 20 over here this is the step 2 in the step 2 electronic component selection sub point B what we will get from this a uh, maximum current in ampere similarly step 3 the battery capacity in that case we will go for the battery bank sizing now this is depending upon the autonomy needed this entire design has been done for the zero autonomy means there is no autonomy backup for entire day this battery works as a backup for a single day or less than that time so in that case we need to go for energy that is whatever is there with us the voltage that's what we took over here we, we need to take the same voltage over here so we we'll get the ampere power now after having ampere power of the battery we are not consuming all the capacity of the battery so we need to assume the DOD in percentage the DOD is nothing but the depth of discharge so it has been defined as the percentage of total charge that can be used for the running load is referred as DOD so if we can assume 70 DOD 70 percent it means that among the available capacity only 70 percent of the total energy used can be total energy stored can be used in this case suppose if we can do it similarly this data is going to be change so this is what the case in terms of AH again your required capacity is more again if you go with 80 your still required AH is less at 100 you will get the same capacity of battery AH in this case we are assuming 70% of DOD we are going to approximate it plus 175 AH battery however for any other theoretical design if you get 180 190 answer you may select 200 AH battery that is available in the market now one important segment is step 4 that is sizing of SPV how much PV module power is required so for that it is divided into two parts again the first is the energy calculation and second is the power calculation energy we will obtain the power so reverse calculation that's what we obtained earlier in the step one in the forward way so in reverse way what we have we have a total energy that is 2938 in this excel sheet it is available and it is already typed automatically over here now likewise inverter we need to assume the efficiency of the battery that is 95 percentage so in this case we will get the whatever capacity required from the SPV module so it has been tested over here directly it is 3092 so again what we have done we have done this 2398 that is one efficiency has been incorporated of the inverter and second efficiency is also accommodated with the battery 
So it's a charge controller and the SP. So we are going reversely. We have started from the load, then we have done for the inverter, then we have done for the battery, and then we reach at SPB. So in this design, if we are assuming the number of turns and is 4.5, we get the SPV voltage is 687 watt. So if we can change it, so for example, if I can take 6 accordingly, the wattage from the SPV module will change because we require less amount of power from the SPV module compared to what we are having for 4.5 hours. In similar case, if we can go the more number of assumptions in hours, so at that time there is also an issue of the high temperature during afternoon. So at that time the open circuit voltage of the PV will be reduced and hence your output will be reduced. So if we are assuming this 4.5, we will get 687. And in step 5, wiring another accessory the outcome of this step 5 is that you will get certain amount of current at 230 volt it's a single phase inverter if it is three phase then you will go over the phase voltage or the line voltage accordingly so our next step sub step is maximum direct current and the voltage required that is this 687 is coming from the spv voltage 24 volt that's what we assumed for the DC supply it is assumed over here 24 volt it might be a 12 or 48 depending upon the user will get the current so my DC current is 28.6 similarly according to this current and this voltage we will select the standard wire gauge and switches of the main junction box now if you can convert into alternating voltages, we have AC power that is 490 watt and the system AC voltage is 230 then my current is 2.5 ampere so from 28.6 ampere DC current when it has been transformed into the AC via converter your maximum current is 2.13 round off you will get 2.5 ampere so we can select the AC wiring fuse and junction box of at least 2.5 ampere capacity that it can protect so ultimately the system can supply 2.5 ampere and 230 volt from the PV if we are using this much amount of load now friends I have already circulated some sheets to you via email each and every roll number comprising of different load pattern you need to accommodate loads over here accordingly your watt and whatever will be calculated automatically that you can accommodate over here watt over here whatever over here then you may assume suitable amount of efficiency according to that the system power output will be changed and the V capacity of the inverter has been computed and the whatever including the losses has been computed from that whatever you will assume suitable amount of voltage or the system DC voltage you can come you can refer this section for the assumption of the voltage ranges you will get the DC current as you will get the DC current you will get this over here then you can accommodate as it is the system voltage SM as the DC voltage of the battery so battery rates in ampere hour so whatever divided by volt I'll get the ampere hour I'm assuming suitable amount of depth of discharge and from that we'll get some approximate AH similarly from the energy calculations we need to add the efficiency of the battery in the energy so you'll get the approximately 3 kilowatt hour energy requirement from the solar module Usually these calculations are done for the per day basis. So similarly we are having 3092 and 4.5 hours of the daily sunshine hours will get the module wattage. So it is 687. Usually three modules of 250 watt is a good choice. But for ideal design, if you can go for the four modules 250 watt each, 
which comprising of 1 kilowatt of solar power then this extra energy or extra power in this case extra energy in this case will be diverted to the battery so this is what the design and at last in step 5 by converting DC into AC power after inverter we will get 231 and 2.5 ampere for the supply that has been generated through PV and battery now after the end of this vacation you need to submit this thing in the hard copy and before 7th April 2020 you need to submit the same in the soft copy of the in the Google sheet that has been circulated so hope you got the things however the time slot is given to you if any doubt then you may email or you may call at the given time stay at home stay healthy stay safe take care wish you all the best